What's up? It's Hillary Jane, and today I want to talk about something that I've probably said a billion, kajillion times, and I'm pretty sure you've said it many a times, and I'm talking about it's not that bad. Normally we attribute the phrase, well, it's not that bad, to the little sins in our life, and that's really what I want to talk about is the difference between little sins and big sins. Wait, is there even any difference? No, there's not. That's the thing. Whenever we minimize our sin and we say, well, it's not like it's a big sin. It didn't really affect anybody else. And honestly, it didn't really affect me much either. What we're saying is that we hold the standard for what is or isn't sin. And we get to choose. We get to decide how we live our lives. And God says, that's not our role. He says that we need to be holy as he is holy. That he says what is sin. He says what makes us holy. He says what makes us the light of the world, the salt of the earth. And we don't get to dictate that. We don't get to choose and we don't get to call some sins big and some sins little. Whenever we do sin, whatever it may be, a little petty theft or a little petty lie or a little this or a little that, it's not little. God says, don't steal, don't lie. He doesn't put any emphasis on how big or how small he meant by that. He just meant in general, don't steal, don't lie. He just said, don't sin flat out, period. Be righteous, be holy for I am holy. So our job is to not make sin about us, but to make sin about who it's really about. It's about God. Any sin is stealing God's glory any sin is disobeying Christ. Any sin is saying that I'm choosing to govern my own life by my own way and my own authority and not scripture, not God. And we can't do that. No matter how big or small we think it is, we're just called not to sin, period. So from now on, now that we have a better understanding about what sin is, we can catch ourselves whenever we wanna say the phrase, well, I mean, it's not that big of a sin and we can stop ourselves and we can say whoa whether or not i said that word out loud or whether or not i said that thought or that feeling out loud god looks at the inward parts god sees that my heart was angry i had malice i had jealousy i had pride and yeah maybe i didn't say it out loud and maybe i didn't directly offend anybody but even the inward parts of my heart can offend god so let's think of what we deem little sins in our lives, I have particular ones I can think of right now, and let's just lay them before the throne of God, let's repent of them, and let's say, God, help me to view life as just an opportunity in every moment of every day to be holy as you are holy. Let's lay aside every weight that holds us back, and let's have a better perspective on what sin is. My name's Hillary Jane, and if you've never seen my vlogs before, I'm going to be way more consistent in the year of 2016 about Christ, about life, about thoughts, about feelings pertaining to life and godliness. So make sure to like my YouTube page, it's Hillary Jane. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like my Facebook, all of my social medias, it's Hillary Jane. You can check it out down below. Comment, what do you think about what I have to say? Do you wanna add anything to it? And what other topics do you think I should talk about? Thanks for watching, I hope that it resonates with you. I hope that the Lord can use it to work in your life because that's what it's all about, being more like Jesus.